Hello everyone and welcome to the latest TVU merch review. I'm Dustin and today we are taking a look at something I'm honestly pretty excited about. It is Insight Editions Exploring Gotham City. This is a new book that is uh, available if you're watching this right when this video releases. It actually comes out the following Tuesday. Otherwise, for those of you from the future, uh, this book has released on March 16th. When this book was first announced, I gotta say I was pretty pumped because there's a couple of things that I really, really enjoy about Batman books. Visual guides are one of them. Guides that give information about the history of the not, not just Batman, but also the Batman universe, characters, and the elements that are part of, of this. Now, this book is it's the first one in a new series from Insight Editions that are going to be taking a look at a variety of different locales from the DC universe. We have one coming up with Metropolis, focusing on Metropolis as well. I'm glad they started over with Gotham City because obviously we're covering everything we're Related to Batman. This book, like I said, is something that honestly just by itself is something to marvel at. Here we are looking at the front cover and you can see how detailed the art is. It actually comes sealed in plastic with a slight dust cover explaining a little bit more of what you can expect in it. But these illustrations are just amazing. The, the level of detail that goes into this book we're going to get into is is absolutely amazing. Uh, the book itself was written by Matthew Manning and uh, the art is by Studio Muti or M-U-T-I. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but this book is I, I I have to say it's going to be this is really really a really good book to 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 talk about today. So we can see all over the 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 cover itself there is little versions of various characters and hints at other characters. Uh here we see Harley Quinn being chased by Batgirl. There's Mr. Freeze. We saw Scarecrow and Two-Face on the front cover. This is an amazing piece of work when it comes to art. Uh, I almost kind of want... It reminds me of almost um, the news strips, the early news strips that you would expect to find, but with, of course, the Batman characters inside. Now... We're going to take a look at the book itself. We're going to take it out of the plastic and, and take off the actual dust cover to get a little bit better look at that uh, other art that was actually covered up. Here we can see Penguin. We can see a little bit better shot of some of the other characters. Um, honestly, by far, there and, and as we get inside of this book, there are so many pieces of art, including the covers themselves, that are worth by themselves alone the price of this book. So I know I'm probably going to be a sound, sounding like a broken record today, but honestly, this is one of the best books that I've seen in quite some time from any publisher at all. All right, so as we uh, open up the book itself, this art is going to be featured all over the place in this unique style, giving hints at all kinds of things from the history of the Batman universe. We see the Joker helicopter, which was also featured on the cover. You see those blimps. Here we have the contents themselves. They take specific locales from the Batman universe, and they're focusing on those. But as we're going to see, it's more than just the locales itself. It's the things that have to do with the locales and the characters that they they involve as well. The forward itself from the book is actually, interestingly, a introduction by Bruce Wayne, and the letter that accompanies the introduction is from Lucius Fox, explaining that, uh, explaining to Bruce that if only they knew uh, why he knows so much about the city, then there would be that. Uh, the very first page is a map of Gotham City itself. There's it showcases all the locales that the book is actually going to focus on. Now, obviously, I don't want you to have to watch this video and know everything about the book. So while we're going to breeze past a lot of different of these locales, keep in mind, there's a lot to, to, to absorb when it comes to reading this book. So while we go a little bit quicker through some of them, some of them we're going to focus a little bit more time on because they were just really great pieces. Please keep in mind that the art alone you could be staring at for quite some time. So I want to say that up front to make sure that you're aware that this is not a page-by-page -page visual description of every single page in this book. Uh, the very first one is Wayne Manor. Obviously, we're going to be focusing on different elements from Wayne Manor, different elements that we are we come to expect from these locales. So with Wayne Manor, you see the bookcase, you see the back going through the thing because these are things that are very important to the mythos of Wayne Manor. 
Uh, we go to the back cave and there's a couple of different pages specifically focusing on the back cave, a variety of different elements. Um, we have the garage, we have the hall of trophies here. We have the hall of armor showcasing different versions of the armor that Batman has wore. I will say because this book is obviously coming out in 2021, there are a lot of references to things that have happened in comics within the past 10 years, which is obviously great. Zachary Gate here, as we're looking at this is actually referencing, and there's other references here to Gates of Gotham, a mini series that came out back in 2010. There's also other references to Court of Vowels and other storylines that Scott Snyder wrote during the New 52. Here we have, with the Iceberg Lounge, there's references to the Red Hood Outlaw title that just released in the past couple years, referencing Red Hood managing the Iceberg Lounge and other characters that were involved with that storyline. So it is very up-to-date specifically. It's focusing on storylines that have happened recently, and it's also hearkening back to some other elements of the stories that uh, have happened in the past as well. So like I said, there's almost every single page has some sort of unique piece of art that's going to feature different versions of the character. Here we see Catwoman and different storylines that was focused into what, you know, Key, key moments that she was focused. Here we see the moment from Batman Year One where Bruce Wayne fights Selina Kyle. Here we have her looking out a window at Batman as he swings by. There are lots of different elements here that are just absolutely great. Here we have Crime Alley, which we can see the Monarch Theater. Maxi Zeus is posted up at the top of, of the theater. The man, the, the man who laughs because he came through that dimension through the Monarch Theater. There's Jason Todd stealing the tires. Every single one of these locales has such a great connection to a variety of different characters. It's absolutely great. Here we have Amusement Mile, and we have different elements that played into some of the recent storylines. Here's a really unique one. This one's focusing on Burnside. So we have a lot of, char a lot of character elements from uh, relating back to Batgirl and Stephanie Brown, as well as Luke Fox with Batwing because he played into the Batgirl series more recently. There's other characters that have appeared within the Batgirl series in Burnside that also appear in this section. There's just some amazing elements that go into this. Now, like I said, there, you could spend a lot of time reading every single one of these, but the art alone by itself is, is something to marvel at because the unique style is not something that we're used to. I almost feel like, like I've said, you know, that some of this art could easily be some in, amazing, amazing pieces. Can you imagine a larger piece of the Batcave or a larger piece of some of these other ones? Here's the Wayne Foundation. They're going to focus on some of the specific characters from the Outsiders because recently the Outsiders were based out of a Bat cave underneath the Wayne Foundation building. So we see the outsiders focused on, we see Batwoman. There's a bunch of different characters that play into these different locales and they try to connect it back to more recent stories. Now, this isn't a history lesson of every single storyline that happens in every single comic, but there are a lot of really great elements when it comes to these stories. So, as I said, this book has been put out by Insight Editions. Matthew Manning, who is no stranger to writing a variety of different books related to Batman is the writer and Studio Muti is the illustrator for all of this amazing art. So right now, as you're watching this video, I encourage you to check out this book. Honestly, uh, we have a link to Amazon to either pre-order or order it, depending on when you're watching this review. Go pick up a copy of this book. It is absolutely worth the money, and I strongly encourage you guys to check it out. I want to thank Inside Editions for sending us a copy of this book ahead of time to take a look at. Like I said, by far an amazing piece of work. And also, like I said, a piece of work that I have greatly appreciated more than most books that have released over the past couple of years. So with all of that being said, I want to thank you one for coming and checking out the latest TBU merch review. In addition to that, I encourage you to head over to the website to check out all of the news related to movies, TV, merchandise, video games, comics, and everything else that relates to the Batman universe. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and join our Discord for all things related to Batman, including the news and conversations with other bad fans again thank you to inside editions for sending us a copy of this book thank you for watching this latest tbu merch review and we will see you guys next time